Just I'll do a quick review of these only only one Finker SE which I bought to make the RC headsets for the uh, Coravinus 19 uh, break. I uh, bought it the other day. Um, I've produced about 20 or 30 of those on it up to now, no problem at all, double stacking them. Um, I've also done an alternative type headset. My sister is a cleaner, uh, does the theatre wards and that, and uh, she needs something a little bit more basic. So, um, a few issues when I bought it. Um, I don't know if you can see here, the, the two of these were missing, uh, which ain't good because it's part of the stabilising part of it, really. Um, uh, the one issue I have found that I'm not too happy with is the on the back of the bed here. I move the bed backwards and forwards. See how the cable keeps catching on there. I've lost one, one, two drops because he's actually snagged and caught it. Um, just, you can hear it grabbing it. I mean, if you're doing a small job, I found a simple fix at this moment in time. Just put something like that there, so as the job's moving up and down, it's just keeping it away, but it's not ideal. Um, it's, it's really sharp edges on there. Um, I ended up putting tape sticking down and going down so it had something to ride against. Uh, the other issue is this the um, cable reel holder is too small, it needs some adjustability into it. Uh, I bought some PETG to do the job. Um, I don't fit on the reel holder. Um, tried extending it off, but then all I'd get is this, this rattling like mad. I mean, I know I can make something for this, but I shouldn't have to. It's, there should be an extension bar that came with it. Uh, I ended up mounting on my side bike, which I could do use at the moment. Um, the reel on there, so the cable then comes down and into the machine. Uh, it works alright, but I've lost my side bike at the moment. So, and, you know, I've been... Being in a hurry to try and make these things, um, I didn't really want to have to mess around. Now, everything went apart, went together okay, no problem at all. It sets up, it calibrates, it works fine. They are all visual use. I mean, I, I turn the, the power on. I'm not going to do it now. Um, door fires up fine, but the fan in here is a bit. Yeah, you know, ain't good, is it? There's Brandon out of the box, it's only a week old. Yeah, that's a noise. The environment you don't need you. You shouldn't be doing that. Somewhere from a kind of second hand fan in it or something. Um, does a good job with the printing. No, nope, I've got no concerns with that. It's 0.4 head. Oh, it's gone, gone quiet again now. Yeah, my old PC used to do that. Um, everything seems to work on it okay. Um, does a good job as so the um, the printing, uh, everything moves a little bit slow on the uh, the one of the axes, the Z axis. But uh, if I go to auto home, see so, yeah, that's quite quick. Finds that no problem at all. Obviously, oh, the was already over, so it's the speed of that coming down, doesn't no, it's fine. Uh, they give you an extra gift set with a few bits and bobs in. Unfortunately, they didn't give me any of the. Uh, they give me some screws, but not the actual clamps. Um, so the main issues are those. Now, the only other issue I found was the bed uh, being glass. I couldn't get anything to stick to it initially. Um, a few failures. Um, I've got isopropanol to clean it all, um, so that's not a problem. I've done all the recommended the bed level. That's simple enough. Four adjuster screws, drop um, your piece of paper underneath, just give it a slight rub, uh, no problem at all. But what I found was, in the end, uh, a little bit of hairspray came to the, uh, this is just something I found on the missus, she will know when she finds out I've had it, but uh, it seems to do the job, a little bit of treasure made hairspray, spray a bit of that on, uh, let it warm up, and uh, the bed, you can see the bed's got like a glaze on it, I mean I will clean that back down to the glass. Um, but other than that, it seems to work all right, and it's printing the headbands no problem at all. Um, um, they're taking about two and a half, three hours. Well, in total with the bottom piece, it's about three and a half hours per one, uh, which isn't good really. I mean, um, I tried speeding it up, but it, it, you know, more haste, and it just tends to uh, 
cause more problems. So I know people are doing them quicker, but I haven't got to that point yet. Um, so that that part's working okay, and uh, it's it's, well, it's all right for the money, I suppose. It does the job. Um, there's no movement in any of the parts. All that was uh, taken out in, in the SE and the S version. Um, goes together pretty quick. Oh, it does the job. Um, and the uh, the clear films. Um, I'm doing those on the old uh, Roland uh, PCX or whatever it 2000, um, which it's just printing out the clear films now from the talking. If you could see that. Um, and this one's an alternative that my sister is the cleaner. Um, it's a slightly different headband off a different website, but it's more of a visor because they're bending down totally and cleaning and stuff, so she wanted a different type. Um, but it seems to do a job, so those are all printed okay. Um, the, the bottom bit prints okay, that bit comes out alright, no problem. Obviously these are all going to be clean now. Bagged, labelled and sent off. I've sent, sent 10 off the other day, sent, made another 10 of the other one. So I'll start printing again, but unfortunately uh, the PETG seems to be in short, short supply at the moment. So, and I found a standard reel of one kilo, I think it uh, it does about 12 to 14 of the headbands. Um, there's a little bit of wastage where some have failed. Uh, and the extra kit's okay. But it, it does the job. I, I can't really complain. Um, I mean, the, I'll move one of the axes on it. It moves quite quick. Try the white axis. The only problem I find is the uh, <laughs> is the is is as uh, the Z axis. It's a little bit slow. I would have thought it was sort of. Once it knew where its home position was, it would speed up a bit, but it doesn't seem tough, so... I have actually bought uh, the BL Touch bed levelling sensor, if I get a chance to fit that at some point. Uh, I've looked at the videos, it looks a bit overly complicated to do, but uh, as regards the firmware upgrade and all the rest of it, so I'm going to leave it at the moment while it's working. Leave it alone. Uh, the fan's quite turned off again now, but but that's that's really the bugbears with it, really, is, is this cable at the back snagging on this i mean there might be a way of just taking this off moving it rotating it i don't know but it shouldn't come like that um it just seems a bit oh i don't know could have put a little bit more thought into it but anyway as i say that's just a quick review of the uh eerie one uh thinker sc um uh manufacturing the rc3 headset band 